Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this clip from. Welcome to Trade with Chrisnet. And I am Chris Charles. Here in this channel, we provide you with so many information about crypto and um, the likes, right? So if you are not subscribed to our channel, do well to click on the notification button and also subscribe to our channel here and click on the notification button. So let's get to the business of the day here i will be walking you through on how to add metamask extensions and other extensions to your browser so how do we go about this let's get to the business of the day right go straight to note we are doing everything on our, on our phone so go straight to your play store or app store i'm using an android phone so i'll be going to the play store right so when you head straight to your play store search for kiwi kiwi browser right so kiwi browser i already have kiwi installed in my phone that's why you see it showing me to update but i'm not going to update it right now so i will just open kiwi straight away i will go to my apps search for kiwi all right so this is it so once my kiwi opens you see kiwi this is this is the interface you will get whenever you have a kiwi in your phone so once my kiwi opens this is what i'm gonna do now let me make this clear to you see this place right this three dot that is where all once you tap on it you will see all the extensions let me scroll down and show you guys these are the extensions i have on my phone these are the extensions I'm having here. I have this guy. I have this guy. I have this guy. These are wallets. These are different wallets, right? Different wallet extension. Okay. You see? I also have Metamax. Let me move this guy. So I have Metamax. Also, Ponting Aptos Wallet. So I will be showing you how to add any of this, any of this. These are things that you can actually do on your PC. But now with the help of Kiwi, you can do them on your phone, on your cell phone. So let's get to it. How do we add? I will start with Metamax. Remember, I've already ha I have all these stuff on my phone already. So I will just show you the procedure on how to get done with it. So let's get to it. Close this guy. All right. Close this guy. Sure so we're back here so we'll come to your search button search button here go to your search button this guy here search for metamask metamask chrome extension chrome extension so once you search for metamask chrome extension, you'll see a whole lot of links we we'll see one link here we we'll see this so which one are we going to go for i will be going for this first link this first link right i'm going for this link here so i'll tap on it i want to make this video as short as possible so i'll tap on it once you tap on it this is the interface you will see just like this now you see because i tap metamask extension meaning i'm searching for metamask extension now if you should, if i should zoom this sorry if i should zoom this you will see that it will be prompting me to remove remove from chrome why is it showing me this because i already have it it's showing chrome but i is installed it's added on my kiwi browser okay it's showing remove because it's already here if it is not here it will show add right so how do we add any other one you just move to your left side You've already gotten this right. You moved here. So you move to your left hand side here. See at the top side, you see the place the road extension. Just for us to, for it to take us back to where we can search for any other available extension. So here. Sorry, this extension. Tap on that extension. It will not take you to the search zone where you can search for any other extension. So I'm tapping on that extension now. Now you see all these things here are extensions. All these things are extensions. 
zoom calendar whatever any extensions you are looking for you just search for it this is where you search for it at the top side here okay just pay close attention at the top side here that's where you search for it so let me search for let me search for which extension let me search for casper let me see if casper i think i don't have casper on this phone right casper wallets casper Mm. I'm bringing up the option I need. Casper Sina, yeah. For people that are into Casper, okay. Sorry, Casper Sina. Now, this is Casper Signer, right? For people that have Casper token, one of one extension. So, what I'm going to do is I will just tap here to add it up. Okay, I'll just tap here to add it up. Okay. Now, this is it. This is Casper. You can see if I should zoom here, this thing is showing just the way it shows on your PC, on your PC browser, either your Chrome or your Mozilla. But then what I'm going to do is I will just click on Add to Chrome. Click on Add to Chrome. Now, before I do this, I want to show you guys something. Let me, let's go here. Tap on this three dot at the top side here. I just want to show you that I don't have Casper on this my stuff. You see, there's no Casper here so far. Just check, there's no Casper. So I want to add Casper extension here. So I'll just tap on Add to Chrome. Once I click Add to Chrome, I will give it permission. Okay. Okay. Now you see it's checking. Once it's done checking, it will add it. Now you see it has added it, right? It has added it. So let's confirm if it's added successfully or not. So we we'll click on our three dot at the top. Once you click on it, you scroll down. You see Casper is now here. This is the extension I just added. So I've added Casper wallet extension. So what do I do next? If I want to either import or create a new Casper wallet, what I'm going to do is I'll just tap on this Casper um, signer now. I'll just tap on it. It will open. Now you see it requests me to put, to set up wallet, to set up, password to create a new wallet or something like that so that's it any extension you add you can either use to you can either use it to create a new wallet or to restore the one you already have if i open um aptos wallet now this is it you see it's requesting me to create a new wallet or import the same thing with any other wallet just tap on that three dot I want to open Metamax. Metamax have already signed in here, so it will request me to put my password to access my wallet, right? So that is it. Remember, where you get all your extensions, you would click here, these three dots, okay? Once you've already added it, you create, you create that's where you can be able to access it. So anytime you are doing a transaction, I will make a video on how to authenticate transaction using uh, Metamax and Co. Whenever you are doing something that we need you to authenticate that transaction, you need to assess it. So I will do a video on that, um, possibly next video or before that. So guys, thank you once again for watching. And do want to subscribe to our channel if you are yet to subscribe. So as not to miss out on any updates coming up. Just click on this subscribe button. And subscribe and click on the notification turn on the notification button so that you will be the first or among the first to receive any of our updates thank you and god bless you peace